right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time once again for your Friday Fail Story. Excellent. All these people thought they had the perfect plan, the plan that could never go wrong, but then somewhere along the line it went from being a great idea to one big stinking mega uber ultra. Fail. That was Greg, a rough. I, Greg had a false start. Yeah. Horrible start. <laughs> wow. Over the line. Mark at zero. Yeah. Mark at zero. Oh, my God. F minus. That was pretty bad. Which is a reference <laughs> that Greg doesn't get because he's not never watched Big Lebowski Big yet. Lebowski. I've never. I have yet to see it. Mark at zero. Over wow. the line. Well, it, I've heard us play that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Which is he's never seen that, but he'll watch a crappy movie this five is, times in one five day. Five times oh, in a row. Well, I don't know why you there, This is bowling. There are rules. <laughs> Not rules. Wow. Okay. Phone's ringing, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, Friday fail stories. F around and find out. I think Ooh. you guys might have been talking about this guy, uh, YouTube pranker. Oh, just yeah. pranking. Just yeah, pranking. Broke it all down. Yeah. Yeah. The the random guy at the mall in Virginia, mm-hmm. and the guy shot him. I still love that story. I don't. I didn't hear <laughs> you guys talking about it, but uh, man, we broke it down extensively. Yeah. Have you plugged his channel? I did. Yeah, I you did? She, yeah. Yes. What a bitch. Oh, come on. What right. an well, idiot. Well, yeah. you know, you got to go subscribe. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> I guess so his funny. thing is, like, he uh, he does stuff on his channel. Like, he goes around, he asks chicks to play Naked Twister, and he pretends to puke on Uber drivers. So, pretty cool mm. stuff. We, yeah. Oh, we played yeah. one of the really good ones where he puts a camera in your face and just takes your picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if it was the same guy, but it was pretty crappy. Like, these, like, a prankster like this, they took some... AirPods out of a Target, and yeah. they gave it to some old people. Said, "Here, you won this." And then the old people like walked out with. Oh, that's that's, that's cool. Sensor. Yeah, that's a different he, guy, but yeah, same level of pranking. Well, the yeah, guy he was pranking didn't find it funny. Shot him in the stomach. Ow. Oh no! Had absurd. He lived, right? Stomach yes. and liver. He oh. did yeah. live. And the he guy, may, but he may still be charged, which is good. Right. Well, yes. the guy who shot him was arrested. I he think. was charged, and they're considering harassment yeah. charges. So much fail. Love that story, though. I say not guilty. Vows to prank again, though. Oh, good. Vows. Cool. <laughs> that's that's great. I will prank His again. next one is, oh, you're, why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is one that uh, CBS found. This guy in Florida was seen on surveillance footage. He was going into a Target. He grabbed a box that had a $540 electric razor scooter in there. Oh, nice. Puts it in this cart, rolls it right out of the store without paying for it. So they called the cops, and when they got there, dude was still on property. He, in fact, he was right on the sidewalk, right outside the Target, assembling the scooter. Sweet. <laughs> and when okay. he was asked why he stole it, he told him because he needed it to get around. Oh, All right. I need this. Duh. Oh, he well, then a, go. This dumbass question. He was arrested and taken to fail jail. <laughs> Idiot. Only he had another 25 minutes. Yeah. Uh, here's one from Washington, D.C., where the D.C. stands for what menace, Sammy? Uh, Dominican Republic. Now, what is it really? You, you learned, right? Oh, uh, sorry. Um, District of Columbia. There you Correct. go. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Sammy was still. Sammy was like, <laughs> I don't know, Dominican something. Yeah, the Dominican uh, Republic. I, I, yeah. I can say it. He, that sounded right. Yeah. Anyway, that's where these two firefighters, they were on their way to an emergency medical call. Okay. And they thought this would be a great time to stop and pick up some Chick fil A. Oh. Mm. <laughs> nice. And when this all came to light, they tried to argue that they had already placed their order before they got the emergency call. They just stopped by real quick to pick it up. Like that was yeah. going to matter. Yeah, guys. It's not like we went there and ordered. It was already ordered. We ordered. <laughs> They're going to an emergency medical call. This is your job. According to the report, they said, quote, literally a few minutes tops. Yeah. Oh. They're it. suspended until further notice. The department is uh, conducting a full internal investigation. No word on uh, the person who was waiting for their help, but uh, dumbass. Fail. I mean, they already prepaid on the app and everything. And Doesn't you know? matter. If I'm having a heart attack or whatever's going on. You're bleeding on the road after right. a car accident. Yeah. I don't want the people stopping for Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Get me to where I need to go. Yeah. Then eat. Uh, the super cool guy in Michigan, he was doing donuts in the middle of an intersection. Sweet. And while all the ladies were fighting over who was going to get to have sex with him first, oh. these two other cars that were drag racing crashed into him. Oh. So you, got, <laughs> you got one doucher doing donuts. Here come these other two idiots racing. drag racing. They crash into him. No seatbelt. So he was ejected from the car, is in critical condition. Uh oh. And it turns out that he had stole the car that he was doing donuts in. Oh. So. Failed. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> so much coolness. They really need people on the street coordinating everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. And in uh, other. That's what's needed. 
car news. This chick in L.A. reached into a lady's car in a grocery store parking lot and tried to steal her purse, but the other woman wouldn't let go. So she yanked the woman and the purse out of the car. Then she jumped in and tried to steal the car instead. Uh-huh. Didn't get very far. The, the video's wild because the car had a club on it. Oh. The steering wheel was locked. You guys remember the club, right? Yeah. Sure. People make fun of me, but look at this. Yeah, yeah. for you yeah. youngins out there, it's an anti-theft device. It locks on the steering wheel, so you know you can only go about a quarter of a turn with the steering wheel. Mm. Didn't stop this crazy bitch, though. She tried to drive off anyway, turned the parking lot into a, like a full-blown demolition derby because she kept backing up and going forward, hitting more cars each time. <laughs> well, that'll work. Five cars were damaged before she jumped out and tried to run, but two guys tackled her. Jeez. Good. Held her down until the cops got there. Wow. Uh, somebody also tied her shoelaces together just in case. Just in yeah. case. <laughs> the uh, cops arrived and took her stupid ass to fail jail. Failed. They're like, what is this lady doing? I See, when I first saw the video, I didn't realize. I knew she was, like, carjacking somebody, uh, but I didn't realize that the club was on the car. I'm like, <laughs> why is she hitting all yeah, these cars? Yeah. Yeah. There's a uh, phone scam in Washington State where someone is pretending to be from the Pierce County Sheriff's Office, and they're calling people saying that they are Sergeant Darren Moss and that uh, he has an urgent legal matter to discuss. He's uh, trying to get money from them, saying they have fines that are unpaid, but they can settle up with cash or gift cards. Gift cards. Wait, I like that. And guess who the fake Sergeant Darren Moss ended up calling? Uh, the real sergeant. The real sergeant Nailed Darren it. Moss from the oh, Pierce no. County Sheriff's Ray. Office. Oh, no. Do do Failed. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't you read the name? Yeah. Idiot. <laughs> and uh, finally, my favorite story of the week. It's another one of these. Let's just say you're feeling all sexy. and Always. You oh, want to yeah. get frisky. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Frisky. You could do what this 47-year-old man did. He inserted a water glass into his butthole. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, yep. Yes. He got uh, drunk, decided just to shove a glass up his ass. Okay. And he initially tried to say that it was an accident, as uh, people do, but mm-hmm. then uh, he admitted that uh, he was drunk. He did it on purpose. The glass ended up all the way in there to the point where he couldn't poop, and it was almost impossible to fart. He tried to get it out himself. No luck. Three days later, the pain got to be too much. He goes to the hospital. Doctors tried to remove it using a technique called milking, trying to like yeah. move it back oh, down sexy. through the intestines. The report <laughs> says, quote, called milking, milking was attempted to deliver the glass through the anus, uh-huh. but this was unsuccessful as the glass was <laughs> high up, inverted, and tightly wedged. So, yeah, so, now, so now he needed actual surgery to cut him open and get it out. He remained oh. in the hospital for seven days recovering from the incident. That's so wow. not embarrassing. No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> and they say that that's you know when when people get stuff in them and lost in them or whatever, they wait a long time, days, yeah, weeks, sometimes long. months, because of just the embarrassment of, of going in there saying I put a glass in my ass. He couldn't find a building to jump off of. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, then the glass would break. Yeah, and then you have, <laughs> then you have a, a really. There's just like no way I'm going in. Yeah. No.